ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for 3D6. Here we go. All right. 3D6 is coming up. Uh, what do we got here? We've got a, I like to call it the birthday cake. Um, we could call it uh, the tower. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. What we're looking at is we're looking at three different heights and three different, um, I should say, three different height platforms, a circle that goes all the way down the middle, and three different radius measurements for all three of them. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to draw the top view of this first. So we've got something that has a radius three. Don't be confused by this in the notebook. This is radius one and one half, not radius one half. A lot of people don't see that one there. Radius three, radius one and one half, radius three quarters. So in my other drawing here, I'm going to draw the top view first. So you can leave the top alone. I'm going to go to my circle tool, radius three, same center point, 1.5, same center point. I believe it was three quarters. Was three quarters? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, my light just blinked. All right, so we got these right now. Let's go to the. You know what? Let's um, let's do let's do the rest of the top view. All right. So if you want to do a construction line at this point, being in your 3D tools, go to X line, or type X line. You're gonna go like that and like that. I'm trying to do these drill holes. Okay, we might as well do this little circle here too. That little circle, you can see it says five of the holes are radius one fourth. So this little circle here is gonna be a radius one fourth and all the other ones are as well. We just don't know where in here they're gonna be. So if you look at this measurement, this is saying three quarters of an inch less than three would be where the center of those circles are. So I'm gonna draw a circle that has a radius 2.25 because three minus three quarters is 2.25. So if I draw my circle, 2.25, at the intersection that it just created, that's gonna be radius one fourth on all four of them. And that makes five altogether. Now we do not need this, we do not need that, and we do not need that. We're already on the top view, no need to reset. Bottom right corner, whoops. Now we got this. Take these five things and extrude them down. They're gonna go down negative one half. I know that because on the plan right over here, height is one half. Take this one and extrude it up one and one half. So this goes up 1.5. Now notice that this and this got left behind. They're at the bottom. I can't just extrude them up the half inch that they are. I have to move them up to the top first. So move, grab them at the center of this circle and put them at the center of this circle, which that plus is gonna be right there. Now this one is going to extrude and go, you don't wanna do both of them, you just wanna do one. It's gonna go half up. And then this one got left behind. So move, grab that, put it up at the top circle. This one gets extruded all the way down. Here's a little trick for you. You could add all that stuff up, or you could just say, eh, and go all the way down like that. As long as it's going all the way through the object, when you do the subtract, it will make that hole only where it's touching the other pieces, okay? So let me reset my view here. We do have a couple subtracts that we have to do, but before we do that, we might as well do union because you can't subtract this one thing from three things. You can only subtract one thing from one thing. So let's do one, two, three. Union those together and hit enter. They become all one model. Subtract from the main model, enter. This one, you can do all these at the same time if you want. One, two, three, four, five, enter and then check your work. You see that that circle obviously just pulled right back up to here. Go to conceptual, go to orbit, look underneath, make sure five holes came through and boom, we are done. Wow, four minute video, not even bad. So back to uh, hidden for printing, reset your view if you haven't already, put your 0.7 line weights on there, put your 1 4 inch text height name, and that's it, print it out. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys.